only on 11 Alive, a young man who just welcomed his first son into the world gunned down and his killer is still on the run at this hour. 19 year old Calvin McDowell was found shot to death in the front yard of a home on Woodland Avenue in southeast Atlanta. His funeral is now set for Saturday. Tonight, 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn spoke with his girlfriend who is pleading for justice. He joins, he joins us now live from outside Atlanta Police Headquarters. Cody. Yeah, Jennifer, his girlfriend now learning to live life without him and having to prepare to tell his son how his dad died. This as investigators here behind me at APD are working around the clock to track down the person who killed him. Calvin, um, very outgoing, ambitious, humble. Shay Hardy can't help but smile when she talks about him. He always checked on the people he loved. A 19-year-old guy just trying to figure out life. He was getting into his music. An aspiring rapper. His rap name is K5. Likely his proudest moment yet, Calvin McDowell recently became a father. I know he was very happy about Royal. Shea says the little guy is a spitting image of his dad. Our son, baby boy, um, he's eight months. He has my dimples, but um, this, yeah, he looks like his dad, for sure. Which makes this senseless tragedy all the more heartbreaking. My heart hurts real bad. <laughs> My chest. April 13th forever changed so many lives. I got the call and um, I. And what was, what, did, what were you told? That he had been shot. Shay rushed to Woodland Avenue where she was met by Atlanta police. They kept pushing me back. They was like, go, go, go. So, um, yeah. That's, that's how I found out. I stayed there the whole night. I had to ID him. And he was still there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was him. He didn't even get a chance to be a father for real. He was just taking off in his career. Like, my son didn't have a father. It's tough to hear. It, uh shows you these are real people affected by this gun violence happening across this city. Atlanta police have not said what led up to this deadly shooting, but Shea Hardy says she is not going to stop fighting for justice because she wants Royal to know what happened to his dad.